Welcome back to another TV Travels video. In today's video, we're leaving Sayulita and headed to the Villa Premier Boutique Hotel in Puerto Vallarta's Romantic Zone. We're gonna take you on a tour of the property and of our room. From there, you'll join us at our favorite taco spot in Puerto Vallarta, Sonorita. Trust me, you won't wanna miss this mouth-watering dinner. Let's get this day started. Good morning, travelers. It is a bittersweet day today. We are leaving Sayulita, but the silver lining is we're headed to Puerto Vallarta and we'll be there for five days. We are excited, huh, baby? Yes, we are. We'll be going to the Villa Premier Hotel, which is our little slice of heaven. We've had a great time here in Sayulita. What was your favorite, baby? Snorkeling. Yeah, snorkeling. Definitely mine snorkeling was number one and a very close second was cruising around on the uh, on the golf cart giving yeah, people rides <laughs> That was a lot of fun. We're gonna bring you a whole bunch from Puerto Vallarta today. It will be a lot of fun We're glad you guys are watching like comment subscribe and let's have a great day travelers Here we are back in our favorite coffee shop Vanessa's favorite coffee shop. What are you thinking again? Uh, definitely gonna get the dirty chai because I didn't get a chance to try that in the last time. Um, but I also got the, it was the almond caramel. It was so delicious. So I might get two cups of coffee this morning. <laughs> and I am gonna try the breakfast, guys. They have a pretty robust breakfast menu here. All right, let's take a look at the breakfast menu. Here. A good variety, sweet breakfast, eggs, chilaquiles, stuff from the bakery. So I've decided I'm going to have the French toast with uh, over easy eggs and a side of bacon. And my love, have you decided? Here you guys see I got a fresh cup of orange juice and I got a green juice coming. And then check this out, syrup I'm putting in this cute little jar. And I bet you it's gonna taste delicious. I still got her coffee. I think this is the um, iced chai. Dirty. It's a dirty chai? Yep. It's a cold brew with chai tea. I love both separately. Never thought about putting them together, so. Tried this at another place. It was okay, but this uh, cafe seems to have really good quality, so let's give it a shot. Good chai. Tastes the uh, spices and uh, the cold brew just gives it a nice little uh, kick and depth to the drink. And super good, guys. Give it a shot. She's got one more drink coming. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Gracias. What is that, baby? Uh, this is a Oaxaca brew. Um, it has a Evaporated milk, cold brew, cinnamon, and I think mint, which is going to be interesting. So it's pretty. Take a look. Very, very nice. They do a great job of making their drinks here. So I'll give it a shot. Oh, that is good. Is it? It's, was it um, heavy coffee taste? Is it, it, it has a good. And, and deep coffee flavor to it. A little bit of sweetness, but you can taste the cinnamon. Um, the evaporated milk gives it a little bit of uh, thickness and richness to it, but it's just good, good, good coffee. If you're a coffee drinker, definitely try this. Mm -mm -mm. That's good, very good. Breakfast has arrived. My love, what'd you get? I got an acai bowl, nice and fresh, lots of different berries, bananas, and some granola. And I got French toast, the side of bacon. Look at that presentation, guys. How good does that look? Delicious. Ooh, look at that. We got a fried egg and green juice. Muchas gracias. Vanessa's going to try hers right now. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> fresh and sweet. There's a tartness from the acai. Um, and the granola, it's not too sweet, but gives a nice uh, texture with the crunch. Um, very good. Really, really good. 
is so I got the French toast here. I'm gonna put this delicious jam on it. It's got berries, blueberries, strawberries, bananas, and I think this is going to be delicious. Put some syrup in this little jar. Mm, that just looks so tasty. And it came with a fried egg that I think I'm just going to put right on the top. And bacon. And we're going to mix this bad boy up. And let's give it a shot, guys. All right. Bottoms up. Mmm. That's really good. Nice and fluffy and airy in the bread. The fried egg tastes delicious. The bacon has a deep bacon flavor and the jelly, second to none, guys. Oh, let's try the green juice real quick. Tastes healthy. We're wrapping up a delicious breakfast here and the total price came out to 760 pesos which in U.S. dollars... Just under 50 bucks. As you can see, we got a lot of food, a lot of juices, a lot of drinks. Three cups of coffee. Yeah, three cups of specialty coffee, plus uh, <laughs> for just under $50. We're gonna head to Puerto Vallarta, and uh, let's go have a great day, guys. We have left Sayulita, and we are with our driver, Nicolás, right there. He is our main guy in Puerto Vallarta. So we linked up with him now that we're back in Puerto Vallarta and he is taking us to see some crocodiles. We're going to a little town called Boca de Tomates and it's Sunday, so it's supposed to be a pretty happening place on Sundays for locals. Live music, little beach fiesta, but I'm not sure if we're gonna do that. We're definitely, we're gonna go to see crocodiles though. We have made it to Boca de Tomates. If you see behind me right here along the fence, it says crocodile zone, use caution. Let's go check it out guys. So let's look around here. So far guys, no crocodiles, but that's okay. We're gonna keep looking and uh, maybe we'll, we'll find something. This is a pretty cool place. It's really off the beaten path. It literally took like a 10 minute dirt road around uh, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy road to get here in hopes of finding crocodiles. Look at right here, I'm looking in the marsh, trying to see if we see anything, but there's really nothing out right now. It's really warm too, so maybe they're hiding in the shade. I don't know how crocodiles thermoregulate themselves. <laughs> That's how the crocodiles release their heat, their mouths open sitting in the sun. Oh yeah. All right guys, there's a crocodile. See? If you guys see right there, yeah, it looks like bark. Let me see if I could zoom in. And he's right there, you guys. You see the see his eyes sticking out and his nose, and he's just hanging out. It's a big boy too. Zona de cocodrilos, precaución. That means crocodile zone. Use caution. And if you guys see right here is the crocodile. Just hanging out in the shade there. Hope you guys can see him. Just chilling. And this is the park he's at. They say there's usually a ton of crocodiles here, but right now it's just this one little guy. Well, not little, he's a big croc. Look at that, you guys. The crocodile is moving towards us. Wow, it's a grande, huh? Look at that. So we are leaving the crocodile area. This was, uh, was a, a place where a lot of crocodiles are. We just couldn't see them because the water is really high right now. It's been raining. And uh, usually the water is lower and they say there's usually 50 to 60 crocodiles just hanging out all around there. But it's kind of cool just seeing the one and him coming and swimming towards us. Now, we're headed back to Puerto Vallarta to Villa Premier Hotel, and uh, we'll see you guys there. You excited, love? He's very excited. This is our home away from home. We love Sayulita. 
and we love Puerto Vallarta, but this hotel here is what we love the most. The Villa Premier Boutique Hotel. Hey, hey. hey. Welcome back. All right, Welcome back. So here we are, guys. Back at Villa Premier. Gracias. Is this a personal driver? Yeah. yeah. Nicolás. Es, es, es familia. Yeah. Okay. Entonces, ahí estamos. Ajá. En WhatsApp. Hablamos. Okay. Okay. Adiós de nuevo. Mi nombre es Julio. All right, Julio. Gracias. Gracias. Bienvenido. Sale. Gracias. Ajá. Sí, Tony. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien. All right, guys. Look at this. Check in. Yeah. Celebratory. Glass of champagne. Cheers. It's actually very good. Yeah. You guys can see here, this is the hotel lobby. When you enter the Villa Premier, and you see how beautiful this place is. And then let's take you outside. This place is awesome, guys. Look, you walk out here. This is restaurant number one here called La Corona. And then right across right there, that's another breakfast spot. We usually eat breakfast right upstairs right there. And then check out the pool. How awesome is that? Got the pool, the beach right behind it. Hola. compass and then the lavender fields. So you guys here you see we get to choose our own pillow. You get to choose the firmness, the tech pillow, and they also give you a scent. So we get a firm pillow with a lavender scent. And this is Alejandra checking us in. <laughs> all right so we are all checked in and uh, just waiting for our room to be ready about another five minutes. Take a look guys. This is the Villa Premier Hotel and just look around. As you make your way out by the pool, you'll notice this restaurant off to the right. This is one of the best views for breakfast we've ever had. They're also open for dinner. Come watch a sunset while you eat or have a romantic dinner out here on the jetty. And there you guys, this got repaired since last time we were here. So that's really cool. We've had dinner out there before. I don't know if it's set up for dinners now. But look, you got a little pool with the bar and then you got the big pool and our room is right up there every room here in this hotel faces the water this is the other side of the beach from the hotel this is a lot of locals come and fish here and uh and just kind of hang out when you get out of the beach here at the villa premier they got a shower for you not only do they take care of the little details such as the shower to wash the sand off your feet before you go to the pool, but look at how beautiful this beach is. If you want this view on your vacation, come to the Villa Premier Boutique Hotel. Look at that view, you guys. That's what we, we wake up there every morning and we get to look out and see this. And As you make your way from the beach back up the stairs, you pass the bar, the pool, and you'll make your way back to the lobby. Let's go see if our room's ready. All right, the room is ready. Let's get in and check it out. This is the Premier Studio Suite. It is the same room we get each time we visit, and this is our third time this year. As you walk in, there's a bathroom on the right and a very spacious open floor plan in front of you. The room comes with a very comfortable king-size bed, a smart TV that we connect our fire stick to so we can watch all of our streaming platforms without having to log in on their TV. And as you make your way through the room, you'll pass a bar area with a sink and a mini fridge. Vanessa and I like to bring food back and eat it on the bar. Then you see the living room with another smart TV. This leads to one of the most amazing views you'll see out on the balcony. But back to that in a second. I hope you can truly appreciate how spacious this room is. Vanessa and I love it because we like to be in the same room with each other while on vacation rather than separated by walls. This open floor plan allows for just that. Okay, now let's get back to the balcony view I was talking about. You can use a remote to lift the shades and look at this view, travelers. How awesome is that? What do you think, baby? I'm happy to be back. Nice. <laughs> yes, very nice. And look at this, guys. Right next to the bed, our barn door shutters which lead 
to the jacuzzi tub. We love sitting in this tub and looking out at the sunset. Little Cabanas, first come for serves. Yeah. All right. Nice view, ocean from sunset. Awesome. Bienvenidos. Okay. Ah, gracias. 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 One of our favorite things to do after a long day of walking around town is soak in this jacuzzi tub. The tub is great to relax in, the bathroom has a nice toilet, great water pressure, and a nice rain water shower head. So as we told you guys earlier, when you come here, you get to select your pillow with the fragrance. We chose the Encompass pillow with the lavender fragrance because they don't give you enough pillows here. So you got to make sure you choose two more, um, <laughs> just in case. And oh yeah, and our lavender. We make sure that they keep up with the fragrance throughout your stay. So this is our little notation that we love. <laughs> yep. We're going to get settled in and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So stay with us and uh, let's go have some fun in Puerto Vallarta, guys. First things first is we have some dirty laundry from Sayulita. So we're going to take it over to our local laundry mat here where they do your laundry very well and very inexpensive. So uh, come with us as we make our way to the laundry service. Our lobby. If you're going for the laundry service, when you come out of the Villa Premier, which is right behind me there, here's the main street that you're gonna see and then you just make a right-hand turn. Find Senor Frogs and walk toward the Malincon. Walk about a block from Villa Premier down this street and there you're gonna see Cool Clean. Oh no, it's closed. Yeah. Well, laundry service didn't work out quite the way we had hoped, but that's okay. Now we're hungry and we are headed to eat at a place that we truly love here in Puerto Vallarta called Sanorita Sanorita and uh, delicious tacos we'll show you guys if you watch our last video you'll remember it uh, but we're gonna find a cab here and then uh, we're on our way to Sonorita let's grab a cab and uh, get on our way 80 pesos hola, hola como estas? bien bien si sí, el restaurante ahí Sonorita sí. we are in our cab Headed to Sonorita, paying 80 pesos, and uh, here we go. As we make our way to dinner, we just like to remind you to please like, comment, and subscribe. And most of all, we want to say thanks. Thanks for being a traveler and watching these videos with us. We couldn't do it without you. Gracias. All right, guys, here we are at Sonorita. Here's their menu right here. Let's go in. Go ahead, baby. Hola, como estas? We're at the table, looking at the menu. I think I'm just gonna get some more Apasur tacos because I love them so much. And here, they are delicious. We've had them before. Love, what are you thinking? I'm gonna do the same because it's delicious here and they go big when it comes to the amount of meat that they put in there. Check this out. They bring you a, a whole bunch of salsas. You got the avocado salsa, not so spicy, a little more spicy and very spicy. Onions, cilantro and lime. This is gonna be delicious, guys. Look at this guacamole made to order and then Fresh chips. I'm starving. All right. The guacamoles are fresh. Has a nice citrus flavor to it. Just the right amount of cilantro. They have some fresh tomatoes in here. Really good. And just enough salt. Really great flavors. Should order it. Look at these tacos. This is an order of three skirt steak tacos. Carne asada. First things first, onions and cilantro. Sprinkle those all across the top. Next, very important, is the lime. So make sure you put the lime in the cook. Just like that, you guys. Mm. 
delicious, delicious. We go with the avocado sauce. This green avocado sauce is amazing. Oh, wow. And our Appa store tacos, gracias. Our Appa store tacos have arrived. Now I am going to, on only one of these, put hot sauce, and that's the one I'm gonna try. All right, guys. Here we go. Look at how much meat you get on just one taco. And they are hot, piping hot right now. Okay, here we go, guys. Mm. Mucha gracias. You guys, that meat is so tender. The minute you bite into it, it's just melting. And the flavor is so rich. You need to watch Vanessa try this because it is unreal. Try this, baby. Looks Probably delicious. The best, taco, the best meat taco I've ever had. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That is so soft, so flavorful. One word, divino. <laughs> <laughs> Now, not only do we finish those amazing beef tacos, but we have Al Pastor tacos, and Vanessa is getting hers ready. She's gonna try it, but take a look at this right here. That is four delicious Al Pastor tacos, and Vanessa has got hers ready. Right, baby? Yeah, let's give it a shot. We've had a lot of Pastor tacos lately. Let's put this one to the test. Ooh, nice crispy but soft pieces for the texture. I just put a little bit of the cilantro, the cebollas, and some avocado, and of course, lime. Mm. We've been here before, and I said it that time, my favorite place, still my favorite place for an al pastor taco, so good. Look at this tamarind drink we got you guys it's called tamarindo in spanish and it looks absolutely delicious here we go trying the tamarindo mm, mm. you guys the pulp they have like the actual pulp of the tamarind plant or fruit in the drink and then there's just like this crunchiness and thickness to it but yet it quenches you and it's a refresher so if you're ever here you guys do not miss out on the steak tacos and the tamarindo drink those are my two favorites from today oh and the guacamole the tacos are so good that i have three more steak tacos coming to me so you guys we're not lying and these people have no idea that we were talking about their food it is delicious make sure you come try out sonorita dinner was a 10 out of 10. No, there, there was nothing lacking in that meal. The meat, I'm telling you, the steak had such a rich, deep flavor to it and a tenderness that Bobby Brown would call a roni. It was tender. The al pastor was delicious with the pineapple. The salsas, you guys, just added added that, that little extra bonus of flavor that you didn't even know you were missing, but when you tasted it, you were sure glad it was there. The tamarindo drink, out of this world. Our lemonades, decent, but they were good. And now look at this, you guys. We're getting a flan, gracias. Our dessert is this delicious caramel flan right here. Wow, just look at, look at the amount of caramel there, you guys solid texture let's give this bad boy a try mm. very good not overpowering in flavor but a just rich caramel flavor that leaves you wanting more and uh that's exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have some more guys so we'll see you soon mm. Fantastic. The bill just came. I'll show you right there. 800 pesos. But what do we get for 800 pesos? We got six apasor tacos and six steak tacos, two lemonades, and a fresh tamarindo juice. 
and a full order of guacamole. Oh, and a delicious flan, guys. So 800 pesos right now. We're converting at 16 to one. So let's go 16, oh sorry, 800 divided by 16 equals $50. We had all that delicious food for $50. Can't beat that, you guys. Make sure you check out Sonorita next time you're in Puerto Vallarta. All right, travelers, so we had a delicious dinner, wouldn't you say? Oh, so stuffed. <laughs> we are stuffed. So we're going to walk back to the hotel from here. It is just a beautiful day, and uh, right now we're at the little plaza here in town. Take a look at this. Here's the plaza, and they have mosaics for all of their benches and fixtures here. It's really cool. Yeah, it's uh, warm and sunny, and we're gonna walk back to the hotel, probably stay in for the night, but if we go out, we'll bring you guys with us, and uh, let's see what we could find on our walk here along the Malincon, guys. It's slow season right now in Puerto Vallarta, and there aren't that many people here. But one thing I could tell you is if you don't mind a little bit of heat, come on down. There aren't that many crowds, the food is still delicious, and the people are just as welcoming and warm. Puerto Vallarta is ready for you. Travelers, look, we're back to our room, and the hotel staff sent up some nice chocolates and a nice bottle of wine. Very nice of them here at the Villa Premier. All right, travelers, that's gonna wrap up our first day in Puerto Vallarta. A mellow day, a travel day, but man, was our dinner special. Sonorita, hit the spot. What do you think, love? Oh, so good. Still can't stop thinking about it. Delicious. And you guys, we got to see a crocodile on day one. We got some exciting things planned. Uh, pretty cool kayaking trip in a bioluminescent bay is coming up, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and check back, hit the bell notification so you can see when we upload that video. And just look at this beauty behind us, you guys. So thank you again, travelers, for watching, and uh, good night from Puerto Vallarta.